Happy New Year, everyone! I have a crazy idea that I want to discuss with you guys, which is let's create an Inkscape database for membrane proteins together. I went to give in a workshop at uh, University of Amsterdam. One of the participants asked me if there is like a library of the membrane proteins that they can go look at to make scientific illustrations. The ones I know are not open access resources; so they usually belongs to some companies or organizations that you need to pay a royal fee to use those illustrations I mean there, there's no nothing wrong with that uh, if you, you are able to pay you have the budget then that's fine but um, I think the majority of the researchers they don't have the budget for that they really need these open access resources for their research publication and uh, we know that Inkscape is free and open access it is a very good tool for researchers to use for creating their figures and also at the same time uh, maintain their copyright for their illustrations. Then I ask around that, oh, why are you guys not using Inkscape? And the main reason people are not using Inkscape, uh, at least from what I heard, is that uh, there is not uh, a lot of online resources to teach people how to use the software. What do you guys think? Is it the reason? Let me know in the comments. And if it is the reason, then maybe we should make some more content about Inkscape. And I have the privilege to have this channel and uh, to make these uh, illustration tutorials. This will be a really good platform to put Inkscape education resources on. This is the part that you guys can help me a lot, which is letting me know what kind of questions you have have about using Inkscape. Tell me what kind of content you need for making your scientific publication figures and uh, I will put it up for vote on Fridays in the YouTube community tab. Once it is at the top of the poll, I will demonstrate it live on Sunday, live streaming on Twitch and uh, I do these uh, illustrations, uh, demonstration tutorials live. I can really answer your questions live on the live stream. So uh, this is a really great new system that we have here on Drobalman and I also put all the recordings in my YouTube uh, membership page and also on Patreon. Everybody can have the access to it once you become a member. It takes quite a lot of time to edit the video, so that's why it is better to come to the live stream or uh, check out the recordings. Uh, but, you know, like slowly, if we keep on running this system, then we can build up a, a database to draw these uh, membrane proteins. Uh, I want to focus on membrane proteins because uh, this is uh, something that I get a lot of requests. Also, uh, with Inkscape, you can definitely create most of the membrane proteins in a style that uh, suits, for example, the Nature publications, also Elsevier. The only thing is so awesome that you can help your fellow scientists by just asking questions in my comments. <laughs> and you can also DM me anywhere, like uh, on Twitter, on Instagram. And I'll put them up to vote in the Drobama community. It is really like a peer reviewing process. And uh, yeah, I really look forward to seeing what we can achieve in the next year. Hopefully we can build a very decent database to help uh, everybody to draw their membrane proteins. You can check out the existing Inkscape tutorials in this playlist. I hope it will grow much bigger this year.